Sounds good. I'll grab them if I see them. What's he talking to? It's the Dai Lo, man. It's the chairman. Wait. 
you're coming with me. Looks like you're gonna meet Uncle Poe. The rest of you, wait here. Don't do anything until you hear from me. What's going on? You are staying here like I told you. And you are shutting the fuck up! Got it? Yeah, boss. Of course. Good! Let's go. kept Siwa alive. Yeah. That may be just what saves us. I'm gonna bump Uncle Poe's gun. Hoping that does it. It's not fair, you know? Look what I built. The night market. All of North Point, really. The dog guys get to play. What was I supposed to do, Hanley Wabi Watanga? Just what you did. Look, you can't back down from that asshole. You and him got history, huh? Well, me too. Listen, man. Anything, anything happens to me, you look after me, okay? We're a... We're a family. Family has to stick together. Duke, Conroy, they're good guys. But they're not gonna be leaders. I know Conroy gives you shit. You've proven yourself now. And he'll see him. Even if he doesn't want to admit it, do me a favor. Look after Peggy and my mom, too. This can be a rough business. The one thing we got going for us is each other. Brothers, you know. I know people use that word. But it means something to me. And it should to you too. Not just that we're son on you. True brothers. Blood. We look after each other. And we look after the people we love. Okay, Winston. See why told me he really works for Big Smiley, not Dog Eyes. I keep hearing his name. Big Smiley is back in Dog Eyes, sure. That's where he gets the balls to come after me. But he has a lot of power. Along with drugs, he's in the prostitution. Poor. He even sells women across the border into the rest of Asia. The whole thing is run like an industry. Very sleazy, but big money. Winston, we can't just walk in there. Not if it's as bad as you say. We have a lot of choice. It's the way it's done, Ray. Besides, you can't hide from Uncle Poe. If you want you dead, you're dead. And I'd rather see it coming, you know? You should be okay. But if I get my ass shot, do not do anything stupid, you hear me? Okay. Who gives a shit? Fuck off, Johnny. Hey, Winston. What's wrong? You look a little pale, man. That dog guy tells me you've been throwing your weight around. What happened? You guys used to be tight as shit. Is he here? Nah, he left a while ago. Without a scratch. Doesn't bode so well for the other parties involved. <laughs> Go right in. Have fun. Ah, Winston! Come in. Sit down. Have some tea. And you, young man, must be way. Winston speaks very highly of you. Winston has been a good friend to me. I've tried to do right by him. I like the way you think. That's the attitude that makes us strong. Loyalty. Discretion. Used to be more common. Winston says you're the one who made sure Siwa was not arrested. No, it was Winston's idea. He had to assert himself. Assert his position. But he didn't want to inconvenience you in the process. Did he now? In any case, you did well. I want to show you my gratitude. Uncle Poe, there's really no need... Don't argue with me. Do you know Roland Ho? He has a business collecting debts. The other day he told me that he could use some help. It's uh, quite lucrative, you know. <laughs> Tell him I sent you. Winston won't mind in the slightest. 
Will you? Thank you, Uncle. Winston, 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 relax. I know you were provoked. Damn it. I bet a thousand bucks I was going to be carrying you out in a fucking body bag. Uncle Poe must like you. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think he has an opinion on me either way. All right. I tell you what, you get tired of spinning your wheels in the night market, give me a call. There's more to this business than strong army street vendors. Ricky. Your name's Ricky, right? I appreciate the offer. You know, let me think about it and I'll get back to you. Take the car across the street. Give you a chance to see what it's like to be in the big time. Yeah, you all right? No. Uh, things are gonna be okay. There's gonna be work to do. A lot of work. Stay ready. I always am. Look, uh, in the meantime, I'm getting swamped with this wedding crap. I'm gonna need your help on a couple of things. Yeah? Yeah. But I tell you, it's easier to be a red blue than a groom. I'll stop by the restaurant when you're done there, okay? Got it. Who's asking? My name's Wei Shen. Ah, Wei. You got friends in high places, my boy. I hear you and Winston have been making trouble with Dog Eyes. Dog Eyes has been asking for trouble. <laughs> I remember when I was like you. Always looking for a fight. Ready to kill anyone who so much as looked at me sideways. Here's a tip for you, kid. Don't take on a boss in your own triad. Unless you know for a fact someone else is gonna back you up. Hierarchy is the only thing anyone cares about. Always have, always will. <laughs> Thanks for the advice, old timer. So, uh, when can we get to work? Okay, big man. Petsy Wing. Bad luck at Mahjong. You'll need this. Collect what she owes.
you old guy like rolling home money, you gotta pay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry! I don't care if you're sorry. I care if you have the money. I, I don't, I'm sorry! Hey, stop saying that. I'm sorry! Look. Raymond. Shed, finally. Where the hell have you been? Look, I... Uh, do you have any idea what's going on? What happened at the warehouse? Raymond, do you ever actually read my reports? Your reports? All I have to do is read the goddamn newspapers. They're calling it a massacre. If it ever came out that the police were involved, we're dead. It won't. Well, you can't know that. You at least, you at least could have turned Siwa over to us. It would have helped our case. And would have put the entire operation at risk. What does Penju say? You know, he's not your handle, Way. I am. Well, then fucking handle it, Raymond. Well, how'd you think this was gonna go down? Huh? Whatever it takes. You remember that? You wanted results, and you can't get them sitting behind a desk, nose in a rule book, with a stick up your ass. Look, Raymond, I am doing what needs to be done. No. No, you've crossed the line, Way. I'm gonna terminate this operation. You can't do that. Pendrew won't allow it. Pendrew may like to take chances. I don't. And you are dangerous. Fine. But before you go back to your office to try and pull the plug, go ahead and tell Pendrew that I just met the chairman of the Sun on Yi. The chairman? <laughs> Wait, you're, you're just a foot soldier. Well, this foot soldier has just been marked for promotion because I made sure Su Wall got out safely. It'll be in my report. And maybe this time you'll actually read it. seconds. Or at least a good driver. What is it this time? Ah, uh, let's go. <laughs> what the hell was that? Yeah, Shablip Diego was cheating at the cards last night. 
thought I'd teach him a lesson. Some fucking lesson. <laughs> Bet he doesn't cheat again. Ew! The cops are on us. No shit. Think you can lose him? You gonna pull this shit, you gotta learn to drive. You're behind us. Just let me off anyway. as fast as we can. Oh! 
you go because my daughter works there. Oh my god! What? What's the same? I'm bringing the suspect in. Take some, thanks. Thanks, Wei. Enjoy. What's the problem? I bought a whole shipment of birds from the mainland, but they keep losing. I think they must have been feeding them sawdust or something. Remind me not to bet on them. Yes, exactly. I'm just about bankrupt. My only hope is to get the insurance money on the shipment. You look like and my you truck. Use a your truck? Gun. If someone were to steal it and run into the harbor, I'd be saved. Damn. Chicken kanji. <laughs>
嚟過嚟啊，過嚟啊嚇！誒唔好放喺度啊嚇，凍曬啦！點解、oh, 你嘥曬時間啊？<笑>你知啊，我 Vincent 咧就係同 Peggy 結婚噶啦。Yeah, he mentioned it the other day. Congratulations. 梗係啦，到時間啦、啊。阿 Peggy 咧就係想準備啲婚禮，咁佢又唔叫 Vincent， 我會揾人車佢。咁你啊，唔介意啦嘛，嚇、啊、<笑> ？No problem at all, Mrs. Chu。好，咁就好啦。啊，走走啦，唔該曬啊！我要多啲雞，你哋攞多啲雞俾我啊！嚇、啊，咪企喺度傻。Hello, Wei. Thanks for driving me around. Yeah, no problem. So, where are we going? The flower shop. I still have to pick the color I want. You won't believe how much work it is to get ready for a wedding. We've been planning for eight months now, and there's still so much to be done. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, it better be perfect. My wedding has to be perfect. It wouldn't be a good idea right now. Your life is why it'd be good. You have to have someone you can be soft with too, eh? It's very important. If you're hard all the time, one day you'll forget how to be soft. Then what will you be? <laughs> If you say so. I do say so. You are family now, Wei. I have to look out for you, just like Winston. After the wedding, I'm gonna find someone for you. So how do you get on with Winston's mother? Uh, she's a handful. But you know her bark is worse than bite. Right. That I know. How about her meat cleaver? Ha! <laughs> That's worse than her bark for sure. Now she used to scare me, but then one day I was having a problem with Winston. He wasn't paying enough attention to me, too distracted by work. And Mrs. Chu gave him a big lecture in front of the whole gang. I thought she might use that cleaver on him. Ever since then, Winston's been an absolute doll. And even though she still yells a lot, I know her heart is in the right place. You're lucky. My mother never liked my girlfriends. I guess it's hard for the moms. Well, I mean, you know, I used to have a thing for blondes too, and that drove her crazy. Bad enough if I went out with a Chinese American girl, but but a whitey? <laughs> well, it's good to know she was loyal to her people. No, she's loyal to her prejudices, more like. That too. Finalize the details of the flower arrangement. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm just the driver. I'm just gonna change back, and then we'll be done. Uh, actually, there is one other thing: black orchids. This probably sounds silly, but it was my mother's favorite flower, and now that she's gone. I was thinking that I'd love to have a black orchid centerpiece. I'm afraid that's impossible. <laughs> There are none to be found in Hong Kong. Really? Well, I thought they had some down at the Garden Temple. Well, yes, but they're not for sale. The other day, the CEO of Old Boy Trading wanted one for his daughter. He told them they offered Temple one hundred thousand dollar. They still say no. <laughs> It's incredible, no? <laughs> A black orchid at a wedding guarantees that the couple stays together for the rest of their lives. Oh well, Wei. Come on, we can go now. All right. 
right. Next, we need to pick up the wedding cake. So you got a cake picked out? Winston's in charge of that. He knows I'm very particular about cakes, but he promised I wouldn't be disappointed. I'm sure Winston will impress me. It's our wedding after all. <laughs> and your wedding has to be perfect. Now you're getting it. So your mother took you to the States? <sighs> yeah, you know, she loved Hong Kong, but she wanted to give me and my sister a change of scenery. Oh, were you being a bad little boy? <laughs> no, it, it was Mimi, my sister. Growing up in Old Prosperity, she you know, she started down a particular road and couldn't get off of it. And my mother hoped that moving to San Francisco would shake her up, change who she hung out with, you know? Did it? Yeah, for a while. But some habits die hard, you know? Some don't die at all. I'm sorry, Wei. Winston mentioned that she passed away. I didn't mean to bring it up. No, it's okay, Peggy. You know, it's good to remember where you came from and where you're going. Hey! Isn't that a van from the wedding cake company? Hang on. What are you doing? Uh, yeah, the guy, the guy had the wrong address. Winston asked me to make sure the cake is delivered. He's so thoughtful. Wait, slow down. <sighs> Peggy, if we don't catch that van, you won't have your special cake at your wedding. What? Fast, fast, go fast. I just want the cake. What? This is my cake! Mine! Look, I don't know what Dog Eyes is paying you, but it's not worth it for a wedding cake. I don't know no Dog Eyes! This is for my wedding! My wedding is going to be perfect, you hear? Perfect! You want this cake, you're going to have to cry from my dead fingers, you hear? Tell Winston I got the... Wow, that's great. I'll take it right to him. All done. Oh, thank you, Way. Thank you. You know, it makes me think. Uh-oh. <laughs> the wedding just won't be perfect without that. We're going to the temple, aren't we? I knew you'd understand. family here at all? Uh, no, not anymore. Well, you're wrong, Way. You have family, you have us. Thanks. No, I mean it. I know Winston's work can be... 
rough, but it makes us a family, too. Yeah. Careful! Look out! Land needs brothers, uncles, and sisters, too. To help me with that soft side. Don't laugh. It's very important. You know, I could probably set you up if you... <laughs> You're a good-looking man. <laughs> Thanks, but, but I'm not looking for anything serious right now. I wouldn't want it to reflect poorly on you. Uh-huh. You're still playing around, huh? Well, let me know if you ever change your mind. I know some nice girls. Wait here. I'll be right back. What are you doing here? <clears throat> when it... When energy flows among flowers... We are all everywhere. I, I am here and not here. I uh, love flowers. Ah, brother. So true, so true. You don't belong here. Uh, what is belonging, brother, when we're all part of the same cosmos? I guess failure is impossible. Hey, who are you? Well, who is anyone? When we are all each other, part of a single great organism that never dies. Ah, brother. So true, so true.
caught them? Oh, wait, thank you so much. How can I say no? Peggy, do you have any Winston's clothes in the back? <laughs> I don't think these robes are going to make the right impression. What do you think about this? Yeah, sure. Sister, the least I can do is help out with your wedding. Your mother would be proud of you. I hope so. Well, sometimes I wonder. No, I can see it. Ah! Peggy, I... Nope. I know. Women's intuition. It's the same with Winston. He talks tough, but underneath he's a very caring man. That's why I love him. Thanks. That's the secret. You do what you have to do. But you always remember your family. Remember the people who love you. Then you'll always be happy. What's it like in America? Um, uh, less crowded. I guess. Do you like it better here or there? In some ways, I was more comfortable there, but it wasn't home. It's important to have a home. But I'm not sure. Thanks for being so helpful, Way. I really appreciate it. Of course. It. Sometimes this wedding thing stresses me out. There's so much to get right, and you only get one try. Don't worry, Peggy. It's gonna be perfect. Oh, it's so nice to find someone you can really rely on. I can see why Winston likes you. <laughs> <laughs>